Sup? Hi. Oh, Guinness, what's up, dude? Come here. Come here. She's just like, fuck. Hey, up. you always like just chill right, right out of the camera's eye. It's alright. It's alright. <laughs> so what's up, everybody? We're back with another vinyl fucking Monday. <laughs> what? What? Mwah. Mwah. So we're back in action. We're gonna review another record. And we're gonna fucking do it right. Uh what to say about this band? I found this band. Actually I didn't find this band. <laughs> An old friend um showed me this band. What and old I friend? fucking love them. I don't really talk to them anymore. Oh. But that's why I said an old friend. Show me this band. And they're fucking dope. And I fucking love them. Uh, I've seen them once. Yeah, we went together. Yes, they and were fucking dope in Denver. We went to High Dive in Denver. High Dive in Denver. Yeah, Maybe that's I think it was High Dive. I'm pretty sure it was High Dive. Yeah. And we saw them <laughs> with another band I fucking love. Which we'd um, also cover on the show. Yeah, we have. Ha! Yes, we have. <laughs> we saw them um, with Free Throw. Yeah, we saw them with Free Throw. So that if you're in the scene, then you probably already know. Holy shit, they're gonna say tiny moving parts. Boom, boom, boom. So we're doing um, their record, which is this couch that we're sitting on. This couch is long and full of friendships. <laughs> this couch is full of friendship. We've had lots of friends on this we couch. We have had lots of friends on this couch. It's been, this couch has been to three states with us at this mm, point. Indeed. Three indeed. states of shenanigans and friends and all of the above moving trucks fucking craziness i guess it also was in four states because it stayed in the hotel parking lot when we drove to california oh yeah that's <laughs> true it's been it's been around the block but yeah so i guess it's i think they're actually referring to this fucking ugly ass grandma looking couch is it just weird how i can look at this and i like know how this couch smells do you know what i mean oh yeah i mean who knows exactly how it smells? I know, but you know when you can like look at something yeah. and just like imagine how it smells? Oh, yeah. I just like have a very specific way I think that this couch smells. Like cherries. I was gonna say like <laughs> Dale's cigarette smoke and like grandma perfume. Mm. And just like like old age. Yeah. It's like a grandma couch, you know? Yeah. I kind of ish knew this band. You got me way more into them. Mm. I knew like a few singles from this band. <laughs> I knew Dakota. <laughs> Open the track, yo. I knew Dakota, I knew Grayscale, and I knew Vacation Bible School, and those are all the songs on here that I really like. Yeah. Those are the ones I know the best, and I knew and liked all the songs, and then you got me like more into them. Yeah, they're fucking dope. They're this one's actually sweet. cool. It's super cool, it's orange, and it's got some brown and some sort of olive green in there. And there's some brown, it's super cool, it's like a sort of a splattery disc, and it's this nice kind of like tangerine color. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's really pretty. I'm really into it. So this is actually a pretty disc that we have for once. Yeah. Not like I hate our black ones, but it is. It's always cool to have It's always cool to have them colored because you know? they look cool on the turntable. There's a little bit of red in here too. It also comes with this little download code. And at the sh we got this at their show. Yeah. And it comes with this fucking comes dope ass. Little banner. Yeah. And, and then the lyrics. Yep. What, what is she doing? Aww. Look at her. Cute. Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing, kitty? <laughs> she's hiding. But yeah, it comes with all the lyrics and everything like that, which is pretty sick. Yeah, she's pulled out. It's pretty cool. We also got at their... Yeah, that's the vinyl. Yeah, we got this at the show. We got, this, we got that vinyl at the show, and we also got this at the show. It's a fucking cassette. Cassette. It's a blue one. And I know everyone's like, what the fuck? Yeah, we like stuff like I, this. I, That's I, why it's I, called Vinyl Monday, not Album Review. Can we talk about how this is like obviously like they printed a huge sheet of them and it's like hand cut? Like, yeah. Look at that. You can it's see so like the lines up. and it's super yeah. crooked. Plus, it's redeemable at Bandcamp. Not even an official website. Bandcamp. Yeah. When they were a little baby band, so you can redeem this obviously hand cut code from Bandcamp. Yeah. If they ever get huge, this is worth millions someday. Yeah, there's one in here. Too. I, fi I think that's adorable. I find that so in. Give me a ball. Holy shit. Get yeah, there's one in Give here too. Ball. It's all fucked up too. I find that so endearing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, they've gone, I love it. They've been on tour with. <clears throat> I love it. Like, they've the been on tour with the Wonder Years so. quite a few times. Yeah. So hopefully it's a lot of cool things. 
Yeah. You don't know what tiny wooden parts are like. They're math rock. They're math rock. Yeah. Um, which is basically just like a lot of tabby The douchebag version of normal rock. No, I'm kidding. It's like rock, but more pretentious. <laughs> that was a joke. Um, it's basically like rock is for idiots who can only add can only two plus two, forwards. and then math rock is for people that can do calculus calculus on the guitar, and rock stars are people that can do power chords and addition on guitar. <laughs> no, it's because guitar math rock stuff is a lot of tappy, pretty technically stuff. They usually do all open tunings. A lot of really nice tunings that if you strum the guitar, it's fucking sad. Yeah, they're open tunings. Beautiful. Are very nice. So yeah, you can just so. like open strum your whole guitar in like an open tuning, and it sounds like a chord. It's yeah. Really pretty. So yeah, a lot of open tunings, a lot of like. Mm -hmm. really, song, they're lead singer slash songwriter slash guitarist is insanely talented. Yeah. Oh, He's great. Fuck. He's like really seeing them live. Bro. Because they're. How they're, does he do it? They're family members. He's insane. They're family members. So the drummer and. They're uh, they're bassist. a cousin band from Minnesota. Yeah, their brother. Their Minnesota uh, is not from the south. I know. I just the, southern accent. The, the drummer and the bassist are brothers, and then the guitarist is um. Their cousin. Is their cousin. Oh. Um, they're super. Is recorded. Dylan is like Marvel. super fucking. Dylan's the lead singer. He's the lead singer. He's super energetic and he bounces all around the stage while playing these super insane tappy guitar parts yeah, while having insane. such high energy and singing. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's ridiculous. It's, I don't know how he keeps up with that insane guitar while also no like idea. jumping around. Because yeah, he was pretty hyped. Like, they were all pretty yeah. hyped. Oh, yeah. They were like definitely were... a movie show. I yeah. But I mean, Vicky is about school since we're talking about that. That's probably my favorite song on this record. It's a really good one. Record. It's like a doggy dog, it's basically how I interpret it, it's a doggy dog world. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, it's about, because there's a line in here, I'll go, I came with confidence and I left with emptiness. Mm -hmm. First of all, aw, oh, that's sad. Yeah. <laughs> this whole album is aw, oh, sad. Yeah. Even though it says this couch is long and full of friendship, it's all aw. Oh. This couch is long and full of ex-friends. basically <laughs> the life. Full of depression. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like that song, it is kind of like a doggy dog, it's sort of like a... Like that's part where he's like you pet the wolves until you need a jacket or what, what's that I had word? a pet wolf until I needed a coat. You guys, yeah. what you gotta do. You got it. Yeah, I don't remember all the exact lines, but like, bro, that's so true because people try to like kind of like play it off like, oh no, I would never do this. I will always do this. I would never. I would never. I'm like, bro, you never really know until you're put in a situation where you have to make tough choices. Mm, yeah. The people that are aggressive and the people that are competitive and go out and get what they want are the people that succeed. Basically, you gotta you if you want to make something of yourself, whether it's you want a girlfriend or you want a good friendship or you want a successful company or you yeah. want anything, anything, you need to. If you don't do it, what are you doing in there? If you don't do oh it, gosh, you're a child. If you don't do it, then basically somebody else is gonna do it, and that's why you need to always be on your shit. <laughs> And that's a really good song. Yeah, the guitar part in there is really cool. That's a good song. I like it's Dakota. Dakota. <laughs> it's your song. It's basically about just like... The Midwest! <laughs> I mean, a lot of the stuff is about the Midwest because it's in Minnesota. Because they're from Minnesota. But, um, it's basically, yeah, about... I do not... not know what steps to take. After graduating high school. Yeah, he can't, he doesn't really <laughs> sing very well. It's not quite like spoken word, but it's not really singing, but it's, it's not really between, talking. It's, it's in kind between of like spoken word and screaming. It's in between like spoken word and sing, sing screaming. And sing, right? In between all that. Not quite a lot of speed, but it's also not quite what you used to. It's in between, <laughs> in between those, those two. <laughs> That'll give you a good middle ground for exactly how the band sounds. But yeah, but I actually love that song. It's about basically not slowing down and or not Slow. enjoying life. And it's also about being scared, not knowing what to do with your life. Well, yeah, exactly, because you're just speeding through and you're just like, you're just basically trying to like figure your shit out and trying to, mm -hmm. which I think is something we all feel like, especially like after high school, like no one really knows what they want to do, and everyone's kind of going off, and maybe you see all your friends okay. like going to college and getting a good education, and you're just like, well, fuck, man, I don't know what to do. But, yeah. That's a really good song. Um, it's great. I, it's I, really I, song. I, it, yeah, it opens with a very beautiful guitar part. And it kind of just sets the tone for the record, like I was saying. It's this album is sad. Which There's is a lot of sad one? albums. Where's the one where he says I just wanted to be part of something beautiful? 
I can't I like know all these words, I just don't remember the song titles. There's a song in here that's really sad and it's basically kind of about, um, is it Grayscale? I like the song Grayscale a lot. I like because he's, um, I think it's kind of about, um, because I said that line, I just want to be part of something beautiful. And then he says a little bit later, he kind of compares the like, color schemes of flowers. Um, there's one here, like, yeah, what's the point of beauty if we all look the same? I really like that. So I think, I think it's just kind of about him, like, wanting to be, like, a part of something more. And whether uh, a lot of people yep. want to obviously feel like they're connected <laughs> and feel like they're a part of something bigger and feel like they are contributing to anything, you know, like in, whether it be like in a romantic relationship or just like in the world or in school or in, or in their career or in their workplace, whatever it may be, they kind of feel like they're part of something bigger. And then he kind of is saying people try so hard to like act like, oh look at look what I'm doing, look what I'm doing, look at look at this, look at this, and they're all trying to like kind of go with the motions and go with the flow and do what everyone else is doing. Mm -hmm. But like, what's the point of view if we all look the same? Like we all are looking to be part of something bigger. But like everybody's like flocking towards these one things and like kind of making it look like they're this big deal when they're not and he's saying what's the point of like this beauty if it's like you have a feel for like the same flower yeah, you know, a exactly. bunch of different kinds and that's what's wrong with a bunch of society nowadays is everybody wants yeah. to follow so this everything I want to be I want to be like this I want to be like this I want to be like this okay well if everybody does that is that what really beauty is at the, at the time you know yeah, beauty is exactly. supposed to be like self yourself how you express yourself yeah exactly and if everybody's constantly doing the same thing Okay, well, yeah, maybe some people have the same thing, but really, seven billion people doing the exact, looking the exact same. Yeah, it's not unique anymore, you know. I mean, I know the. We talked. We touched on this last week. I think we touched on this last week. Um, talking about um how everyone sings about the same themes, which is the way it's presented. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think this is a really good way that they have presented the uh, the concept of like individualism because mm -hmm. I mean obviously like oh I'm not like the other girls has been talked about in like countless songs but yep. this is they made a really nice beautiful poetic way of yep. saying I'm not like the other girls yep. <laughs> but I really like that song I think it's really good and I like this yeah, I kind of like, like this the, song too I kind of like the commentary it offers I right. like I get it the vocals like they're super raw they're super scratchy so it's like there's a lot of emotion behind all of it so it feels like all of this is kind of coming out in like a like a Fed of frustration, like, oh my god, sort of a thing. Yeah. That's kind of all these songs on their feel, honestly. Yeah. And then my favorite song on the record is John P. That, that was one of my favorite song songs for a, for a while, honestly. Um, it's about falling out of a relationship, whether it that be friends. I'm assuming it's more, I mean, it says like, well, it says like I uh, found love basically at 17. So, and basically, I don't know, it's, it, it, I see how it could be about love, but at the same time, it's like one day we'll crack a cola cola in my parents' basement, we'll laugh about the past, and life is stuff where he's left. And this well, whole entire said, thing about okay. growing up, what was up? Well, he also says in there, like, right after he says, I fell in love at 17, but then it says it took me years to, like, find out what heart is or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, it found me years to find my heart. So I think it's, like, more of those things. It's, like, it took me years not saying 17-year-olds can't be in love, but it took him a lot, like, what he thought was love. Oh, at absolutely. the time, at being in love at 17 is not what he has found in his adult life to be true love. Exactly. Basically. I just, I love it. It has a nice little violin break in there, and then it mm -hmm. comes back with da 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 um, the drums in there, or the drums yeah. in this whole band are aggressive. It's very the drummer's aggressive. The a fucking yeah. weirdo. He's dope. But He's so weird. Why? He's he's just like that weird kid. You know what he's I mean? I'm not saying it's. Sick. I'm not criticizing. Here I'm we go. Here I'm not criticizing. She's him. just talking about grayscale <laughs> and how beauty. But she's like, he's weird. I'm just, I'm not saying like fuck him. He's a weirdo. I'm just saying he's a weird. I'm just saying he's a weird guy. Why? She just doesn't like, like his a, mustache. That's it. His mustache. It's just his mustache. It's I think it's fucking. It's dope. hideous. No shame. I'm glad he's doing his thing. I fucking Keep doing support your it. thing, my guy. I'm a girl I mustache just like that. I don't support that. <laughs> I support your decision to grow a mustache. Mustache. A mustache. But uh, my mustache. other favorite song on mustache. this record, my last favorite song on this record, is "Clouds Above My Head." Oh, it's I like about that song. basically what you would think it's about. This yeah. whole record is about, it's sad. It's about sadness. It's fucking it's, so sad. I think it's kind of like a reminiscing thing. He's well, just yeah. kind of basically reminiscing on all these past And that's why, I think that's sad. why I love this record and I love this band, is because I have 
I had so many close friends growing up. Yeah, you so have a many. lot of friends. And I talk to like three of them now. And yeah. it just sucks because like you remember you reminisce on the past, you think about stuff. I mean yeah. luckily I've had the same best friend since sixth grade. Yeah. He's always stuck around, he fucking always will stick around. Shout out Lawrence. But, <laughs> no, but um it, uh, that's why it clouds my head. All this record, it's it's just um yeah, that's why I relate to it so much. But clouds my head. It's about what you think about. Um, I remember my friend that showed me this. He's like, dude, look at him playing it live. And there's this part where he, he does a bunch of um, like harmonic shit on the guitar. And Ooh, when he was playing it and when he did it live, it sounded exactly the same. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, how? Oh, is like, how? Is this he a is robot? Band, this is the band that sounds like what most people would consider shit because it's not clean vocals at all. Very fucking messy. It's rough, rough. Very it fucking is. rough. And when you listen to them live, it sounds the same, mm -hmm. which is dope. It has so much personality around it. And this is a band that I like to show people and I like to get people into because what we're trying to do with music is we're trying to shape the way people think about it. And it's not clean. Yeah, change. It's rough around the edges. And it's that's what music is. Rough personality, like, not clean. It's super clean, super perfect. Yeah, Everything like, has this, was, this has so much heart and so much passion. And you can Absolutely. really tell they, they were really into what they were writing. And they really personally felt, um, like, the words and the emotions, like, behind it. And you can tell that they, or I guess, I think Dylan writes most of these songs. Most, I think he probably. writes, I I think mean, he writes the majority together, of but yeah, definitely. I think he's, like, the primary lyricist. That was what I mean. Probably. Um, but you can really tell that these are like personal experiences that he's had and he's experienced and he's lived and he's relaying these in like the most accurate way he can and he's kind of, which is I mean a scary thing about music, he's really letting his vulnerability show through and his just like every, like his insecurities, his vulnerability, his worries, his fears, his happy memories, his not, his not so happy memories and that's one thing I really like about this band, at least in this era. Yeah. Um, around this record is was his ability to just kind of spill his guts everywhere and have it have somebody be like man i i feel your guts it's yeah. a dope record please definitely check it out yeah this band is so underrated you guys i mean uh well they're getting up there now they're getting up really there now awesome. i hope they get more popular because they're very talented and they definitely deserve it yeah um if you like this definitely click like um, subscribe if you want to keep talking about music. Listen to Tiny uh, Moving Parts. Definitely tell us what you think about the record down below. It'd be really cool to hear what you guys have to say about it. And yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we're gonna... Yeah. We're gonna wrap it up. Check it out! Bye guys! <laughs> How do you stop this shit? Why do you hate his mustache? Why? It's stupid, it's stupid, it looks really bad. And I don't know, he kind of looks like a cowboy. But not a cool cowboy. Like really ghetto cowboy. What the fuck? He doesn't look ghetto at all. Well, I can I can't. You look stuff. ghetto compared to him. I look like a bro. I know. I got like a fucking muscle tank and my bandana.